Question 4. Hydrogen chloride gas is made by adding concentrated H2SO4 to the cassia. Part 1. Construct an equation for this reaction. So it's uh, very easy. KCl with H2SO4 form KHSO4 plus HCl. So this one is the hydrogen gas that form. Explain why HI gas is not prepared by adding concentrated sulfuric acid to sodium iodide. Uh, so it's quite easy because the HI will further react with the H2SO4. The HCl will not. HCl will not further react with concentrated uh, H2SO4. That's why it's always use this method to prepare. But to prepare HI, we cannot use concentrated H2SO4 with the sodium iodide. Okay, very easy to explain this because HI will be further oxidized, further oxidized to iodine. iodine. Okay, by H2SO4. And the H2SO4 is the oxidizing agent. The sulfate in there, it will reduce to many products like SO2, H2S, okay, and the sulfur actually. Because this question is just about gases product, right? So the HI is not the only gases products that form. HI will, will be a very, very small amount left because many or most of the HI will further react with H2SO4 from all these products. The HI itself, again, it will form iodine, uh, the purple gas, and the sulfate will form these two gas. That's why it's hard to separate the HI gas with all these gas products. That's why we don't do this. The HI that form is very little and is not pure. That's the reason why. Uh, these two reasons. Uh. Okay, B. Sample of HI added to two DM cube silk vessel and allowed to reach equilibrium with H2 and I2. So I2 is a purple vapor, right? KC is given. At equilibrium, the mixture contains 1.7 mole of HI gas. This is the most important info. Okay, with the KC and this, you can solve the question later. Okay, state one difference in the appearance of initial reaction mixture and when it's reached equilibrium. So HI is, col uh, is uh, colorless. Okay, and when the iodine form, the purple vapor form, so it will form colorless to purple. Once the HI decompose from H2 and I2, so we'll see the purple gas form. Okay, that's a different huh? what we can see. Deduce the expression for KC. Okay, must put the square bracket product over reactant. So it's going to be H2 times I2 over HI square. So this square bracket represents the concentration of each of the reactants and products. Okay, calculate the concentration of iodine present in the reaction mixture at equilibrium. So because from this equation, we know that the HI ratio to this H2 and I2 is 2 to 1. 
okay that's why we have to use the mole of hi this one okay 1.7 over 2 this one is mole per dm cube mole per dm cube huh? so after that use the Cassie and you have to understand at equilibrium because the HI is the one that form the H2 and I2 so the most of H2 and I2 is must be the same that's why we just put I2 square and 1.7 is the mole of the HI and this is the volume of the vessel okay after that rearrange you get the concentration of iodine which is 0 0.125 okay so for part C the experiment is repeated at 500 Kelvin initially is 700 64 Kelvin higher temperature now repeated with lower temperature okay and for this <coughs> reaction or for this equilibrium Kc at this temperature is 0 0.00625 compared to the previous Kc this is lower okay which means at lower temperature the product is lesser okay to form this Kc we need to know is the concentration of products over reactant so means when the Kc is lower means product is lesser okay this one is telling us that at lower temperature the equilibrium will shift to left to form more reactants so product is lesser Kc is become smaller so which means lower temperature is try to increase the temperature so it means the backwards reaction is exo because it's try to increase the temperature by release more energy so this information telling us that backwards is exo means forwards is endo so the forward reaction must be endothermic because the backward is exo as I told you just now okay, I hope you understand this and part one okay let's start this describe the difference in the composition of the equilibrium mixture at 500 so as I told you just now at lower temperature the Kc is lower product is lesser so the new mixture is have it will have a lower amount of the product which is the H2 and I2 okay part 2 use the Lee Chatelier principle deduce whether decomposition of HI is endo or exo now the answer is very clear the decomposition of HI is endothermic why because as the temperature decrease so the position of equilibrium will shift to the exothermic direction okay which is to the left right. so this is why the forward reaction which is the decomposition of hi is endothermic because the backwards is exo okay that's all for this question Thank you.